Mud volcanoes, or mud pots, are in my view the most intriguing of the geothermal features. What are mud volcanoes or mud pots, and where can they be found? Hi, I'm the Wyoming Traveler, but then you knew that. In this episode of Lost in Yellowstone, I'm going to guide you through a collection of mud pots. Yellowstone National Park may have the world's most extensive, colorful, and accessible collection of mud pots. The area known as the Mud Volcano is one of the best collection of mud pots. It is located on the park's east road, about a half mile above Yellowstone River. Okay, we're here at the famous mud pots. Let's take a deep breath and you can smell the sulfur. Okay, we're going to cruise along up here and see some of the things that we might be able to find. And okay, there you see the bison again. The mud volcano was once covered by a volcano-shaped mud dome. Before 1870, a thermal explosion blew the top away, revealing the features we see today. Mud pots form in a geothermal area where water is in short supply and are similar to hot springs except with much less water. The acidic water rises to the surface at spots where the soil is rich in volcanic ash, clay, or other fine particles. Okay, we're passing through the <clears throat> fog of one of the hot springs. Because it's so cold outside right now. Hi Mike, how you doing? I'm doing good. <clears throat> because it's so cold right now, actually it's not that cold, but there's so much steam coming off from these hot mud basins that you can't really see anything. out of the steam. We're moving on. We're still alive. By the way, there's one of the little ones out there churning up. Okay, here's a good view. <clears throat> See how the hot waters kill the trees. Back over there in the background you can see the smoke coming from another uh, hot spring or mud pot, one of the largest in the park, but the only way you can get back there is to take some of the buffalo trails because the park doesn't have a regular trail marking it. We're now going to move off the trail. Okay, we're now approaching one of the neat areas of Yellowstone, or one of the neat aspects of Yellowstone. And this is the backcountry thermal features. No walks, no signs to explain what you see. Just you and nature. Kind of like the way it was when the first white man arrived here, or even the first Indians. This is the way it is. This is Yellowstone in the natural. Okay, we're moving. Okay, 
you see the trees marked up like this <clears throat> this is where the buffalo rub up against it you can see real close in here buffalo hair okay here's a lot of buffalo hair right here see it's real soft Okay, here we are in one of the largest mud pots in the park. As I said, there's no direction to this. You just sort of have to know where it is. I learned about it years ago on a hike with a ranger. Today they don't give you hikes back here. So you just sort of have to know where you're going. Back here two years ago with Mike and Sarah and Danny. And we found this a pretty interesting clay. Yeah, <laughs> Went along the Buffalo Trail. Here you see a big glob of buffalo hair that's just been shedded. Back over here is the hot spring lake. Okay, warmed up. So a lot of the vapor has dissipated. This will give you an idea of the churning action that goes on. Hopefully the wind will blow away some of this. Uh, there you go. That should be a very good shot. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, this is the dragon's mouth. Again, because of the coolness. can't really see too much. say goodbye to our bison guide and the mud bots. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a few seconds, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and if you have a comment, I appreciate them. Thank you.